Hello, my name is uh, Dr. Philip Barlow, and I'm a professor in the Department of Food Science and Technology here at NUS. The Food Science and Technology course is mainly focused on production, um, processing, and storage of foods. But of course, the ultimate test for any food product is its consumption. And I want to say a little bit about the nutrient content of some foods and how important these are in the, uh, in the overall diet. A healthy diet is defined as having a little bit of everything and not too much of anything. What I want to talk to you today about is making sure that you have a rainbow of colours in your diet. Different coloured foods will provide you with different nutrients and we can look for example at these fruits and vegetables to see the range of colours and hence the contents of the various products to give you good nutrition. So if we look at uh, orange foods like, uh, like carrots, these are going to contain carotenoids which will break down in the body and give us our vitamin A content. If we look at some of the green vegetables, then these are rich in vitamin C. But this extension of, of the colour concept of eating can be taken much further than fruits and vegetables. So as if we look like, at something like a breakfast cereal, okay, it's brown in colour, but we need some of those types of products as well. Generally speaking, the browner the, uh, the breakfast cereal, the better it is for us, as it's a rough indication of the amount of fibre. And most fruits and vegetables, and many of the cereals, are rich in fibre content. 